Most of us know a bit about the First World War. Images come to mind of Tommies in the trenches, of the unknown soldier, and of the local war memorial. But who really understands the impact that that made on that generation and its relevance to today? So come with us as we explore this extraordinary story of a very ordinary Grantham family in 1914. Dear Carrie, thank you very much for your several letters, also the photo from Henry. It is very kind of you to send me the cigarettes. Up to the present, I have not yet received them, but will send you a card as soon as I do. The weather is very cold and the frost is severe, but even so it is much more pleasant than the wet. We shall be in trenches till after Christmas, then when we come out we shall celebrate it in the usual manner. Well, I have no news, but best look for a happy Christmas to you and family. Love, Robert. Rhys is the same age as Robert Harvey, the only son of our 1914 family. Robert joined the Lincolnshire Regiment and in 1916 left his home in Great Gunnerby for the trenches of France. Walking through the trench, you've really got an understanding for the atmosphere and the real harsh conditions that they had to deal with. Um, and handling the uh, same type of grenade, the same grenade that would have killed Robert, um, was a very sobering experience that I won't forget. Well, to know that their son died on Christmas, but a few days after Christmas would have been really hard on them. I imagine they must have felt possibly a little bit of guilt and an awful lot of sorrow to know that on a special day they lost their son who was treasured from what, what I've read in his letters. Well, I think Robert was being brief for a reason. I think he didn't want his sisters and his mother, all of his family, to know the harsh reality of war and what it was really like. So I think Robert was very careful with what he did say to them. My stretcher is one scarlet stain, and as I tries to scrape it clean, I tell you what, I'm sick of pain, for all I've heard, for all I've seen. Around me is the hellish night, and as the war's red rim I trace, I wonder if in heaven's height our God don't turn away his face. I don't care whose crime may be, I hold no brief for kin or clan, I feel no hate, I only see as man destroys his brother man. I wave no flag, I only know as here beside the dead I wait. A million hearts are weighed with woe, a million homes are desolate. In dripping darkness far and near, all night I've sought those woeful ones. Dawn suddens up and still I hear the crimson chorus of the guns. Look, like a ball of blood the sun hangs over scene of wrath and wrong. Quick, stretcher bearers on the run, O Prince of Peace, how long, how long? Thank you. 